Hi guys, welcome to Studio Wildlife. In this video I'm going to show you how I painted this abstract elephant. Um, so I start by blocking in with purple and then I just do clear washes of colour using very watered down paint. It's abstract so I'm just splashing colours everywhere and using a hairdryer to dry the layers in between. I started with yellow and then red and then blue and then green and then purple and work darker as I go. Next I use the dark sort of ready purple mix and a greeny mix overlaying the colours that I've already put down and just darkening up the background. Now leaving some of those colours showing through. Next I use a dark grey to block in the darks of the elephant. And just following the basic structures, following my reference photo as closely as I can. Then I move to a lighter grey, one solid colour at a time. And an even lighter grey for the highlights. Hey, I like blocking these in before I start with the colours. So then I work from my darkest colours to my lightest colours. So I start with the dark purple and blue and block in those darker bright colours and then move in with a lighter blue for those highlights. So all I'm doing here is blocking in those blues where I want those colours to be. Getting those highlights using an even lighter blue now. Eventually I'll go on to use more colours. I'll use yellows, oranges, blues which you'll see in a minute. So here you can see me using some green and some yellow in the areas of the darks and the lights. Now here I'm bringing in red and I'm just following the patterns that I've already put down just glazing over some colours and adding in some splashes. For the tusks, I didn't want them to be too unrealistic, so I'm just using yellow and brown and little bits of white to shade them and make them look as 3D as possible. To finish it off, I'm just adding some white. Uh, for this, this is an old painting and in these paintings I was using pure white. For my more realistic paintings that you might have seen me do now, I never use pure white for the highlights because it's not often seen in nature. Um, but for these, when I was just starting out painting, uh, I used pure white. It doesn't look as realistic as it could, even though I'm doing random colours. The pure white is a bit harsh and doesn't really add to the picture. I wanted this to appear like it was coming through clouds, so I used the airbrush to block in the clouds and then use the brush later on just to rough that up and solidify the clouds. Here's the finished picture, this piece is actually sold. Um, again, sorry for the short video, the next one will be really good, it's going to be done by Amber. Thank you so much for watching, remember to like and subscribe.